What is up everyone? Same day as the last video, but we're gonna be driving the car in this video today. So I got my GoPro all set up right there, has a good view of everything over here, so you guys can see, and you're just gonna come with me on our first drive together in my new to me 2016 Volkswagen GTI. So I can't wait, we're just gonna have a good time, we're gonna rip the car, I'll give you some initial impressions of what I think of the car, how it drives, how it feels, the power stock, you know, everything. Um, not too long of a video. We're just gonna go out and enjoy the car that we are going to build together on this channel and have a great time with. So let's get right into it. Aside from having dirty cars, I seem to always need gas as well. There's a lot of videos you guys always point out that I'm always low on gas. So I'm gonna fill the tank up just for you guys and then we're gonna go on some rips. So there we go. Now we got a full tank. Now we can go have some fun so nobody can rip on me in the comments that I have no gas, like always. All right, guys, so this is our first drive together. This is gonna be the first rip that we do in my new to me Mark 7 GTI. So let's go have some fun. I got traction control off ready, cars in sport mode. I'm gonna give it a nice little. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of surprised of how quick this car feels stock because coming from my S3 that makes double the horsepower pretty much, this car feels really good in stock form. So it's kind of surprising. I thought the car was gonna be a lot more uh, slouchy. It wasn't gonna feel strong. And to be honest, it still kind of puts you back in the seat when you do a second to third, third to fourth. It still feels really good. And I'm honestly genuinely surprised. Like, and it handles pretty well with the stock suspension. Like, and it just goes. The good thing with the IS20, it just pulls so quickly. And honestly, it takes the turns very well. Oh, this car feels really good, honestly. And it, one thing, like I said, the clutch is something you gotta get used to. Um, it's very light, it's not as grabby, it doesn't, you don't feel the catch point like in other cars. I've driven a lot of manuals and this car is probably the least feeling in the clutch, if that makes sense. The shifter actually feels really good. Um, I like how smooth it is. I wish the throws were a little bit shorter, but that's obviously something that can be changed with the short shifter and stuff. So I'm not too concerned about that. So a short shifter is something that I can easily throw onto the car and just make it feel better. But so far, the driving experience in this car has been awesome. Like here, we'll even take, like it just, it goes, it just goes. It feels, it feels good. It feels planted for a stock suspension. Uh, the car doesn't do anything weird, no understeering, like it, it, it's great. And honestly, like I said, for a stock powered car, it feels awesome. Like it, it really does feel awesome. And it's kind of taken me by surprise how quick it is stock. Let's give this car a nice rim. Okay, I mean, like I said before, it's very, gonna lie the car does probably need some new tires they're not amazing they're not terrible they have some life left but I'm definitely gonna have to do some tires on this thing soon because it definitely needs them and uh, with some grippy tires I can definitely take these sharper turns a lot better and we're gonna give this car a good second gear pull let's see how the car feels good from 2000 up to like right before five and then it just falls like it doesn't do anything after the is 38 definitely pulls a lot harder towards red line it doesn't pull all the way to red line but there is a higher um power range with the is 38 obviously being that the turbo is a little bit bigger now the one thing i will say about the is 20 is 
the power does come on a lot quicker. So I do notice a lot of low end torque, even for the car being stock. So I know tuned, it's gonna blow the tires off in second gear and probably even spin in a third gear a little bit, unless I get a really good tire setup. If you don't have a good tire setup, this cartoon absolutely will blow the tires off in third as well if you don't have a good setup. So I'm excited because on the stock power, the car was spinning tires in second gear when I did give it a good roll on. So that's pretty impressive for a stock car. Now, like I told you guys, this is the S version of the GTI. So this is the entry level, most basic that you can get. So no push to start, no LED headlights and no sunroof. This is a slick top. So. In my opinion, it would have been nice to get a fully loaded SE, you know, with the nice headlights, push the start with the sunroof. But at the end of the day, I just want a fun ripper. I want a fun car. I wasn't worried about getting all of the luxuries. I have my Audi for that. So I don't need to have a car that I'm just gonna rip around and have a good time. I don't need the leather seats. I'm fine with the plastic seats. They're still heated. So when I drive the car in the winter, I can still warm myself up. The heat works great in this car. The AC blows super cold right now. It is 75 degrees out and I have the AC on one and the car is freaking cold. I still have a sweater and I'm comfortable, pants and I'm comfortable. So the car does what I need it to do. And there's no difference in power between an SE or an S, a uh, fully loaded one versus a base model one. There is no difference, which obviously is awesome. Like I don't have to worry about that stuff. So I just got this car to be a fun ripper, to do stuff to and just enjoy driving. That's what I like to do guys. I like to drive. I like to have fun and I really miss being in a fun, engaging manual. I still have my sport wagon. You guys know that's a six speed, but I'm gonna be honest, the, the, the wagon is not a, it, it's, the, it's the best daily you can have. You get awesome fuel mileage. Uh, the car is comfortable. You have a lot of space. It's an awesome daily driver, but I don't, I don't know. Th th there's a lot of people that swear by the wagons that they're these like super fast like I, I don't know what these people are thinking like maybe people are gonna hate what I'm saying in the comments but the sport wagon I mean unless you're building a TDI it's not fast like no offense guys like yes the car is fun from a low rpm till maybe like 2500 rpm but that's it like it, it, yeah it'll pull quick for like a second or two and that's it it's not a fun fast car like it's just a good daily driver and that's what the car was meant for for fuel mileage like it's not a race car and my car's tuned like I, I can't even imagine going back to stock like it's just not a fun fast car so people try and make it out to me but it's not but anyways besides the point that's obviously my daily still i just got this car for a fun ripper i just miss rowing through gears i miss ref matching i mean i have so many plans that i want to do with this car i don't want to go crazy i just want it to be a fun handling quick tuner car and that's what this is meant to be and that's all i want it to be i don't want it to be anything else all right guys so we're gonna give it a good first gear rip and i just want to see how the car does second gear tripped a little bit so I'm honestly surprised uh, I don't want to go too hard obviously like that was just I think like 55 to 60 miles per hour so I'm not trying to do anything crazy but surprisingly a lot quicker like I said I it, it, this car is surprising me with how quick it is stock so guys that's gonna conclude the video thank you so much for watching I've had a blast so far driving this car and I have no regrets purchasing this I know it's gonna be fun I can't wait to modify the car because it's pretty quick and fun stock but with some more power and some mods this thing's gonna feel awesome uh, good wheel and tire setup a tune intake and exhaust this thing's gonna be so fun it's gonna feel so good and I can't wait to do all that stuff so Thank you guys for coming with me on our first drive together on this new project. So my camera rudely died on me and I didn't have another battery with me. So I have to do the outro from home now after driving the car. But what I was saying was thank you guys so much for coming with me on our first drive together. This is going to be a car for the channel just to have fun with and to really start to mod and just 
see what these cars are all about because uh, I really want to see the comparison between my new GTI and my S3 and none of my cars are going anywhere. We're still going to be building up the S3, doing more mods. I still have some stuff coming for that. The GTI is going to be another project on top of that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.